Hello, I'm Matt with Camp Chef. Today, we're gonna walk you through how to cook a prime rib in our new pellet grill and smoker. First step, I like to start with the local butcher. Um, order a prime rib, this is a 10 pound prime rib. I've had him cut it off the bone and then tie it back on. That way we're gonna cook it with the bone in, uh, adds a lot of flavor, uh, moisture to the roast. It's tied back on and then we've gone ahead and seasoned it. I've added some ground pepper, uh, garlic, a few other spices that we like to add on to the prime rib for flavoring. Put it in the fridge overnight, wrapped in plastic, and we've got it out now. We're gonna let it sit for about two hours, let it get to a little closer to room temperature, and then we're gonna go out and show you the step-by-step -step process of how to cook it in that new pellet grill and smoker. All right, so while we wait for the prime rib to get to room temperature, we're gonna go ahead and get the pellet grill and smoker started. First thing we did was plug it in, and then we're gonna fill the pellet grill and smoker hopper full of pellets. All right, so now that the hopper's full of pellets, we're gonna go ahead and start up the pellet grill and smoker. You're gonna start by turning on the switch. I'm gonna set this to high smoke. That's gonna take this in about eight to 10 minutes of a startup setting. It's gonna run through that cycle, get us up to a 220 degree temperature inside and feed pellets so we get a good smoke uh, for the first while while we smoke this prime rib. All right, so the pellet grill and smoker's been through the startup mode. It's hanging out around 220 degrees. Our prime rib has sat out and has reached a room temperature. We're gonna go ahead and set it inside, the, right on the grate, insert our built-in meat thermometer until it reaches about 110 degrees internal temperature, and we'll come back and show you how to finish it off. All right, so our prime rib's been smoking for about three hours now. We wanna check to see where it's at internal temperature wise. It's easy to do with our built-in thermometer. If you just go ahead and press the temperature probe button, it gives you the temperature of the probe, which it says right now, it's at 103 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this pellet grill and smoker up to 400. Let it high smoke that at 400 degrees until it reaches an internal temperature of 125. Then we're gonna pull it off, let it rest for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and it'll be ready to serve. All right, so as you saw, we waited till the prime rib reached 125 degrees. We pulled it, set it in a foil tray, covered it with foil, and we've let it sit for about 20 minutes now. It's reached 135 degrees internal temperature, which means it's perfectly medium rare. So we're gonna pull it out now. And as I mentioned, this was tied back on by the butcher. We're gonna use our Camp Chef nice knife set, cut the strings that it's tied on with, pull the roast off, and then it's ready to carve. So if that plate doesn't make you want a new Camp Chef pellet grill and smoker, I don't know what will. Prime rib, served the way I like it, medium rare. Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors.